Xero is designed to automatically import your bank, credit card, and PayPal transactions using what we call bank feeds. So how does reconciling the bank and Xero work? Well, in the old days, you took your bank statement and manually entered the transactions into your desktop accounting software. Then you had to perform a reconciliation to make sure the two balances agreed. But with Xero, your bank statement is already in the software. Your imported statement is on the left, and you match it to the accounting transactions on the right, or create them as you go, much more efficient. So let's see that in the software. On the left, we have our imported bank statement, and on the right, we can create our accounting transactions as we work our way down the bank statement lines or match to existing transactions that we already created in Xero. The balance, as per our imported statement, should match our balance in Xero once we've finished reconciling the bank statement lines. Xero has remembered what I put these first few ones to last time and has suggested the same details again. This is called auto suggestion, so all I have to do is click OK if I'm happy with them. This one is from somewhere completely new, so it hasn't prompted me with an auto suggestion, but it's still pretty easy to create the transaction myself. Just put in the name, select the account, and some description if you like, and click OK. We can, however, do more to automate that as well. We have a few more for parking, so we can use bank rules to pre-code things like this. Click Create Rule on one of them, and then set the conditions for the bank rule so it kicks in when you want it to. All parking expenses coming through on my bank statement are now pre-coded for me, and all I have to do in future is click OK. Accountants and bookkeepers, why not set up a range of bank rules for your clients to automate the coding for them? For more on bank rules, we have a video dedicated to show you how to set them up to suit your business. Next, we have a transfer between business bank accounts. From the Transfer tab, select the bank account it was received from. If you're unsure what to do with a statement line, use the Discuss tab to leave a comment for your accountant to help you out. They'll spot you've left a comment from their list of clients when they next log in to Xero. This one is a check payment recorded in Xero a few days ago. To make a match, Xero looks at the reference and then the amount for a match. This one's correct, so we can click OK. If you needed to match it to a different existing transaction in Xero, then just go to Find and Match. Now we have a receipt from a customer that's paying off a couple of invoices, so you'll have to match those yourself. Go to Find and Match, search for the customer or invoice, and then tick the invoices concerned. This split link here is for when you need to apply a partial payment to an invoice. In one swoop, we've reconciled the receipt and fully applied it against the invoices concerned. Here's an electronic batch payment created in Xero earlier, and Xero has matched that for us. And finally, while we were reconciling, our accountant has logged in too and completed the one we left a comment on earlier. And that's it, we're done for the day. It really is that easy to reconcile the bank in Xero.